What are your deal breakers? Do you know what the non-negotiables are in your relationship? What you simply have to have in order to be happy long term and what you can't live with and what you, you know, could never face in a relationship or with a partner if you're going to be happy? Hi, I'm Stephanie Cook. I'm a licensed Gottman couples therapist and I'm also the founder and director of Couples Counseling ATL and I'd like to tell you a story about deal breakers. A long time ago, way before I was a couples therapist, I loved sitting on the porch with my granny who was 94 when she passed. Uh, she'd been together with my grandpa for over 50 years and even for the years that she spent after his death, you know, she would talk about him, she missed him, she really, really had a great relationship and loved to talk about it. And I remember picking her brain a little bit um, because I was curious about some of the deal breakers that she had that I certainly wouldn't have had in my own relationship. And I remember being really curious about like why he, she felt like her relationship was a good one and why some of these deal breakers were okay with her. Um, so one day I asked her, Granny, like, you know, I love Grandpa, but he wasn't a perfect man. You know, how did you deal with the fact that he you know, didn't have the most stable employment? He frequently would leave a job or quit a job and didn't always have the best kind of employment history. And she said, oh, hush, Stephanie, like, you know, that really didn't matter to me. And, and she it seemed like she really didn't care about that. She had a stable job and she said, you know, he always, he'd always find another job. He was fine. And then I'd ask her also about his drinking. You know, he drank a lot, he loved to drink, and she didn't drink. She was a pretty hardcore Baptist. And she said, you know, well, that didn't matter to me either. It really didn't, didn't bother me. And I remember believing her, like thinking like, oh, well, she it seemed like it didn't bother her, even though they were pretty different on that end. Um, and then when I asked her, like, what, what really did matter to you? Like, what was essential for you to have in your relationship that you felt like was, you know, being met in terms of your core needs. And she said, she said, well, he, he loved me and he always made me feel loved every day. And, you know, she'd get really sentimental talking about how loved she felt. And you could tell just, you know, that was something that was really important to her and that she felt like the relationship really met. Um, and then also he didn't cross some of the lines that she felt um, had been crossed by other people that she'd known, you know, so she said that she knew some people who were married who were unfaithful to their spouse or that, you know, had um, domestic violence. You know, she said, he never laid a hand on me. Those were her words. And he didn't run around. Those were also her words. Um, and so I remember thinking, okay, so she's got some hardcore lines that she wouldn't put up with. Um, and then she also had some things that she really needed to feel in a relationship, like feeling loved every single day um, and cherished. And so Granny taught me a lot about deal breakers. And now that I'm a couples therapist, we see deal breakers in all sorts of forms today. Relationships are all different. Everybody has different needs and sort of things that they must have or that they won't, you know, allow in a relationship. And there's not a right or a wrong on many of these. It's just really important that you know what your deal breakers are and what you need to have in that relationship in order to feel happy and feel comfortable. And so if you don't know what your deal breakers are, individual therapy can, and can be a good place to start. Um, if you do know what your deal breakers are and you're having a hard time maybe discussing those with your partner, couples therapy can really be helpful. And uh, to recap, know your deal breakers. Know what you need in a relationship in order to be long term, whether that's, um, you know, I want kids or I want to raise my kids a certain way or it's religion or politics or you know, having combined money accounts or separate, you know, there are lots of different ways to live your life. Um, monogamy, non-monogamy, it's just important that you know. So if you don't know your deal breakers, it's time to start to know them, especially if you're dating or you're early on in a relationship or you're thinking about moving in or getting married. Um, and if you don't know them, you, therapy can help. Visit counselingatl.com. You can get a free consult with one of our therapists and you don't have to do it alone. So good luck to you as you learn more about your own deal breakers or you navigate those difficult but essential conversations with your partner.